High five, high five. Hell is on the way. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Welcome to day 1027 of What's She Up To Now? Sharon Horn from here, playing with my daughter's, my granddaughter's. Actually, this was my daughter's, and now my granddaughter plays with the doll. And giving it a high five because our fun challenge for today in our 365 day fun challenge to do one fun thing every day in 2020 perfect right because there's been so much craziness we need to look for fun was about high fives giving high fives and actually that's not right it was super size your business it was about high fives fun challenge was about everybody winning everybody wins and sharing a win that we have and how we can find wins and that's where i learned that it is world children's day since 1954 November 20th has been celebrated as World Children's Day. Also, it is Go Hard or Globally Organized Hug a Runner Day or something. So Go Hard means, you know, hug a runner. So it's it's now it's global hug a runner day. So if you know of any runners, give them a hug. E unless you know it's a COVID restriction and you don't want to interact whatever's going on with that in your neck of the woods it's a little bit different for all of us anywhere at least in the united states it's different everywhere every state is different uh and so you have to you know kind of be cognizant about what's going on in your area or if you're like me you're kind of isolated and separated from people anyway and so you just keep doing what you've been doing now change your state or your state change or change state is the topic today of no nonsense november no nonsense november um, and it's not literally moving from state to state. So you can vote in different places. It is the process of changing your way of dealing with change, changing how you experience your emotions and your actions and your reactions based on managing your emotional and physical state, your state of being. Now, we all know that state changes all the time, especially in nature. Think of water based on the temperature water is exposed to it'll be either steam think of old faithful uh water like a river or a lake or uh, a body of water an ocean or ice right if it's freezing cold it's on the mountains it's snow or ice and we all know this and we all know that the energy changes and you know energy is never created or destroyed so if you have a cup of water and you freeze it it's a cup of ice and if you he boil it well it'll evaporate but it is it's a cup of water right and then if you if you keep it in an enclosed place and, and re cool it down it will be that same cup of liquid if you don't let any of the uh, molecules escape well it's the same with us we need to realize that we can either allow change to happen in our life or we can make change happen in our life right now if allowing change is nature's way of doing something is there something we can learn from that uh, I say, yes, we need to learn to allow nature to be an integral part of our existence and manage the process of changing our state and, and adapting to it in ways that serve us instead of ways that hurt or harm us. Uh, so we talked about that a lot, I think, for like 15 minutes on No Nonsense November Day 20, which is today. It's on our Get Up and Go Challenge page. Get Up and Go Challenge. The next one will be December 1st through 31st, We're doing a 30-day free challenge again to end 2020 perfectly instead of just letting things happen to us it's the whole the whole get up and go challenge is all about change and making change happen in your life that will guarantee you have better results after a change or challenge than before so i guess my entire get up and go challenge process is about changing your state and allowing change to be an integral part of your your existence and so uh, really kind of an, an interesting one not where i was going when i started talking it and picking it as a topic I was just thinking all the processes that you can use to change your state to feel better or to get more energy for a given situation or circumstance learned it from Tony Robbins geez back in the late 70s early 80s it's one of the first things I learned from Tony Robbins was about state and state change and positive and negative and human needs and things and and started learning some of those things not applying all of them but learning them for the first time being exposed to them and then over the decades figuring out what they meant and how they worked for me so that is you know in a nutshell the content that i created today now book still in editing still getting some graphics and things created and, and designed for it uh summit i did actually send out a message yesterday and i haven't followed up on it to see if i got any takers about 
a challenge summit early next year. I want to do a challenge summit. I, I told one of my friends we would do a challenge summit. And so I've got one person on board already. And I thought, okay, well, if I'm going to actually do that, I don't want to wait to the last minute like I did on my last summit and then be rushing at the end. It's a lot more fun if I, you know, start working on the process a little bit at a time as I can fit it in in little pockets and uh, put together a great summit for people on challenges. I think it, I think it'll be fun. I think that people will be surprised at how powerful challenges really are. I, I really believe that they are the fastest, easiest way to get dramatic, massive changes in your life. So why not use them to your benefit? Uh, that's it. That's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow to let you know what I'm doing as I transition from the brick and mortar world to the online world of business. Have an absolutely fantastic Friday and I will be with you tomorrow. Bye.